Hello, chilled co-pilots. This is Crimson, and you're watching some Lost Planet 3. Now, this game was released on August 26th of 2013. It was developed by Spark Unlimited and published by Capcom. Of course, the sequel to Lost Planet 1 and Lost Planet 2, which were arcadey third-person shooters, but this one's supposedly more focused on the single-player story, so let's get into it. Um, normal? No, don't feel ashamed of that one. It'd be nice if I could see something to go with these noises of crashing. One thing I'm a little bit concerned about is that supposedly this is using DirectX 9 textures, but got the graphics turned up as much as they go. We'll see. Grandfather? Is that me? Please. Please say something. Are you a ghost? That does look like your grandfather. What? What is it? Kerrigan. You're on my hand. Nova? Just stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> One rock. I toast, but I gave you mine. There's not much energy to draw Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. Kaden gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another bridge is through. Good, good. Your robot Kaden leg. Chance, old man. You're my only family, and I'm not leaving you in here. But he's so old. Damn it, we can't move this thing. You're as stubborn as your grandmother. Because old people always die in stories. They're old. This is all my fault. Either that or they become the bad guy. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. Well, you've been keeping secrets so long. It's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> Pretty impressed with the facial animations stop. and the voice acting. Do we have guns? Damn. Shoot the rock. That old man, get you. already you're dead already. At least let me grow attached to you. Give me a, give me a monologue or something. You know, back on Earth. Exposition. My father believed you had to confess your sins if you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance. But maybe this is mine. I already know you're gonna die. You're gonna Earth do this now. Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. You're Mr. Space Force. Fifty years since I damned us all. Especially yourself. So the last time the series is about, uh, going into space and fighting space bugs for their sunny D. Plainly, you get giant robots. You know, it's pretty cool. Explosions, and space stuff happens. Giant bug fighting. Well, the first two didn't have nearly enough of that, honestly. A lot of fighting other dudes for reasons they didn't really care to explain because they're Asian. So, Oh. Well, you're... I know this guy's stuck under a rock in the future. What? Whatever. Just because I have no control over whether or not this character lives or dies for this entire sequence, I know he's gonna be fine here. There's no suspense. So did I crash into ice or rocks? Or rocky ice? Hello loading screen. Nice to see you. Oh, are we in game? Can I push button? I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but I, <laughs> it, I, I look like Nick Cage. God damn, it's cold! How long do you reckon before they come for us? Depends on how off course we were blown by the storm. Or... 
However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. Nick Cage and Mark Hamill are spacemen. Also, are you not cold, other guy? Because you don't have a coat as cool as I am. Okay, move camera, move character, other buttons don't do anything at the moment. Oh, one of them does uh, camera focus, okay. Uh, pulse nav markers. Well, uh... Doc, I don't think we're alone out here. Okay. So he's a doctor, what am I then? A dude? Because fire... Let's just breathe in the fire. Uh, mysterious metal fire. Oh, auto crouch. I think we should button for that. Um, I have an explosion from the fire. God, I hope that wasn't a transponder. Pretty bad. Hello, bugs. Could, could you give me your sunny D, please? Oh, we're, we're sliding. It's, it's Let's foggy. Get some light in here. Ooh. Uh, my my pit bull is acting up. Ooh, bugs everywhere. Hello, bugs. Yeah, nice little hidey holes there. Uh, is is this some kind of whack-a-mole game you want to play? What are you? Oh, you're the generic bug from the other two games. Okay, do I have a weapon? A pistol. Fantastic. Uh, right trigger to fire. Sensitivity is pretty high. Cool. And reload. How much? How much ammo? Oh, that's my ammo count. Okay. So, is that is that big thing gonna be in the center of the screen the whole time? It's kind of kind of in the way. Whatever. It's nice to know how much how many bolts I have in my gun. The uh, weird shaped bar. Um. Yep. It's fine. I don't want to go to the objective anyway. Drop your pistol. There's bugs and there's a lot of bugs. Hi, bugs. Um, aim down sights. Uh, well, there's air aisle. Oh boy, there are a lot of you bugs, and I only have a pistol. Well, at least you have dying two shots. Oh, no. I, I want your sunny D. Give me the orange juice. Ow. Are the melee? Can I punch these giant bugs? They don't seem to be hurting me that much. Just absorb this sunny D through my boots. I can kick. All right. Well, that that was surprisingly simple for the situation I thought I was in. Okay. Um. I guess I will continue on. Hey, guy. I I I assume you're trying to murder me. Not really faced by it. Don't really have a health bar. But uh it is. Well, where's the last place you look? Forward, because it was entirely linear. Or uh, whatever. Don't know what other places I hooked for this to be the last one. Although that 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 whole uh what, what would I be shooting? Why would I wanna aim down sights here? Am I supposed to be doing something right now? Hello? Hi world. Oh my. Ow. Okay, that's new. Quick, quick time event? Is that happening? Yep. Oh, mash. I gotta mash it. That's fantastic. But yeah, always in the last place you... Oh my god. Well, that was a giant grabby hand. Ooh, cool. Oh, now that looks like it's Why are you French? <laughs> Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on, huh? This game was made in Japan. I just got saved by a French mech pilot. Okay. But yeah, like, like I've been trying to say. It's always in the last place you look because why would you keep looking? Kovac, Dr. You found Kendrick him? Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, my name's Hurchings. 
friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range firearm, are you? Dewey! Uh, on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 out 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Well, I'm glad I'm unfazed by the bugs trying to murder me. Um, we have a cowboy and a Frenchman, and that, that scientist sounded very Russian. What am I then? Am I just like American or something? Well, I guess the setting's getting established. I can I can dig that. You folks are lucky you made it down in one piece. That storm came out of nowhere. Dr. Roman insists your engine corridor was clear, so who knows what that was about. She's been wrong about a lot of things lately. You have a bulldozer? Please so kill this them. is what the recruiter meant by non-aggressive indigenous creatures. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're going to learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she blathered out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace? Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Okay, so there's characters. Man, this supply drop couldn't have come sooner. We, the very stale. And also the pornography. Uh, this Braddock's gonna... Oh, son of a bitch! They made a porn joke. Yes, no, I'm, I'm dead. In one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my rig. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minima, radar, loadout details, as long as you stay close to the rig. Tu me comprends? Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Uh, okay. Well, as arcadey as ever. Although I'm not kind of okay. liking okay. how much I... Pick up the glowing orange blood the animals leave behind. You will need it for later. And fast. I, I get it. I get it. You can, you can speak English then. Um, so, one joke aside, still very arcadey. And when I when I hold the aim down sights, this is this is what I get. That's that's the difference. And we got the sights does. Um, okay. Well, uh, guess I'll be pistol whipping some more of the same bugs I've been fighting. I have a map, so as long as I'm near a robot, I get a uh, mini-map. Oh, and ammo that I have infinite out for this pistol. Okay. Damn it, the snowcat's been damaged. Hey, you're in construction, right? Let's see if you can repair this thing. Yeah, I see the problem. Give me a second. You're in construction, no fix the so bulldozer. First you have to find the proper repair frequency. Tutorial. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do your stuff. Huh. Um Okay, rotate stick until they shine blue. And hold. Okay, you're all set. Oh. That's neat. T energy credited. Well thanks for paying me in Sunny D for doing that. I'm not, I'm not within umbilical range of robot, so I'd have no map for ammo indication. Robot, could you move up, please? I got, there's bugs. Trying to, why aren't you helping? You're, you're a giant mech. Although, then again, I'm, I'm not sure why you'd need to, because I don't think these things could kill me if I stood still. Oh, there we go. Not quick. Get back on the drop ship. On my way. Uh, sure. I'll I'll get right on that. We'll just ignore the bugs then. Is there a run button? Oh, there's a roll button. I'm getting, I'm getting button access. Great. Now hold on. Laroche, you take the high road while I round the bend. Aye aye, asshole. Asshole. And that was my introduction to EDM3. 
baptism by fire. The rest of the trip to base camp was uneventful, but the calm didn't last for long. Give a dang, I packed my six shooter full of infinite ammo. Look, it's a double six shooter because you got 12 bullets. In this base. We all missed Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette, you know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though? I never said that. You didn't have to, you just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nefik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach. I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. He doesn't like being called Kenny. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. Here, you really stepped up out there, huh? You must have a million questions. Yeah, I hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. No, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. The bees! <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Blows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Peyton and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first, you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. He's not responding to any of our calls. All right, keep me posted. Actual, this is Campbell. I'm in distribution with Ermolev. The East Block pipes are frozen over again. Damn it. We just thawed those. All right, get a gobby over there with the space heaters. That's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm, no, no. Okay, look, uh, make an announcement. Let everyone know we're down to a trickle for now. But uh, contact Agabi and tell him to hurry up. You got it? Roger that. Campbell out. Sounds like I got and some work already. What are you standing already? around for? Take that elevator down to see Gale and get yourself squared away. I was trying to listen to all the dialogue, jerk. Don't, don't make my comments about it. So I have a mission hub, it looks like. Run around, talk to crewman Salvetti. That woman you're replacing, Diaz? She was loved by the crew. Nobody talks about her much after she disappeared. She lost her bearings near the end. It was painful to see. It hit Braddock hard. You got big shoes to fill. Just don't die out there, huh? I'll try not to. Well, thanks for that important addition to the plot there, random person. Welcome to the Coronas Expedition. I believe I have your NDA, contract templates, and union licenses on file. Your standard hazard bonus rates and mileage reimbursement have been uploaded to your union docket. If you have supplemental documents, riders, or provisions you would like to submit at this time, please do so now. I hope you have a lucrative stay, Mr. Payton, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Well, thank you, Indian paperwork man. I'm sure every ethnicity will be. 
nice and represented here. Even even the female ghosts will be of every every nationality. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and my hat is off to you.